Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today, I'm gonna show you how to fix this. This noise is either due to leaves or some other debris getting stuck in the blower motor, or the blower motor is going bad. Either way, this video will cover both the cleaning and or replacing of the blower motor because both processes require you to remove the blower motor, which is really easy. In this case, I'm working on a 2001 Ford Ranger Mazda B3000, but this process will be similar on most vehicles. There are two common places to find the blower motor. One is on the passenger side here. It could be behind the glove box and you just need to remove the glove box. Or you might have to go underneath here and there's a piece of plastic, you just unscrew a few bolts and the plastic piece will come right out, giving you access to the blower motor. The other location is on the passenger side of the engine bay up against the firewall. Most blower motors look like this, it's a large cylinder, the actual motor part is right here and this plate and the motor come off. Most of these come off with just three or four bolts, it's really easy. In my case I have four, there's one here, there's one here, there's one down there, and there's one right down there. On my truck, these are 8mm bolts. In this case, we're also going to have to remove three bolts. One, two, three. To take these reservoirs and tilt it backwards so we could slide the motor out. So here are all the tools you're going to need to do this job. You're going to need a ratchet. You're going to need some type of extension. Maybe a couple different extensions. You're going to need a 10mm and an 8mm socket. And you're going to need a flathead screwdriver to pry any clips up for the pigtails on the electrical connections. We will begin by removing the bolts to the reservoir. That's one. The next one is right here. That's two. Now that we unscrewed the top two bolts of the reservoir, we need to unscrew the last bolt down here, which will give us enough wiggle room to pull this blow motor outwards. So surprisingly, that's a 11 millimeter nut and not a 10 millimeter bolt, just like the other ones. So we're gonna need an 11 millimeter socket. Something strange happened, I felt a, uh, a slight pop and I noticed that the bolt wasn't moving anymore but it's come loose and I think it actually popped out. You can see where that bolt goes in right in there and you can see where that popping noise was from. I guess as I was unscrewing it, it was just spinning and then it pulled itself out. In your case, you'll just unscrew the nut and the reservoir will be free to move. Now let's remove the blower motor. We'll start by taking the top two bolts off. It's one. That's two. So what we're gonna wanna do next is take off this electrical connector to the sensor here. This connector has a clip on the bottom, you just pull downwards, and then as you pull downwards, you just pull this outwards. And then we could just take this electrical connection and move it down out of the way. The other electrical connection we're gonna have to get off is for the blower motor itself. You could actually see my clip is broken, but you just pop that up like that, wiggle it loose, one last thing you're going to want to disconnect is this wiring harness piece right here that just pops downwards. You just push down and that'll just give you way more access over here and it'll move all the wires and the wiring harness out of the way for when you try to pull this off. And then finally there's a hose here. The hose just provides cool air for the blower motor and that could just pop off like that. Now we're going to go get that bolt down there and that bolt down there and then that'll come right out. That's bolt three. And that is the last bolt, bolt four. Now this should come right out. But before we do that, we just wanna to try to move the wires. Just so the wires don't get in the way. Okay. In the actual blower itself, there is nothing. There's no debris in here. A lot of times that's what makes a lot of noise. But if we look in here, we do have some leaves. I'm pretty sure those leaves were making the noise in the blower motor, but I want to run the blower motor before putting it back to make sure that the blower motor itself wasn't making any noise. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up to the electric and then just turn it on and have it spin and see if it still makes noise. So to test our blower motor, just get your wiring harness here, watch your fingers, I mean I doubt it'll turn on when nothing's on, but just to be careful. Plug in your wiring harness to the blower motor, should click in, 
So I'm gonna lean this in right here. You can see it's pretty solid. So when spinning this with my hand, I don't feel anything. It doesn't feel like there's a bad bearing. So let's go start this up and see what happens. I'm gonna go in the car. I'm gonna keep the camera here and you could watch to see what happens. Hopefully there's no noise. Okay, I don't hear any noise. This sounds really good. So I'm gonna shut this off and we'll install it. So if your fan wobbles a lot and you think it's the reason why it's making noise, what happens is the bearing could be going bad or you just need to push this down to tighten the fan and you could do that just by slipping a socket over it and hitting it. And just hit it down like that and it'll just crimp this on tighter. But there's no play in this at all. The other thing that we could do is we could check out the motor itself by taking off this cooling tube. You can see the motor in there. And this thing looks like brand new. There's no debris, there's nothing in here. So I really don't think this is bad. If you want, it's like 40 bucks. You're taking it out anyway. You might consider replacing it. But I'm just gonna reinstall the original one. But before I do that, I wanna show you something. This is called a blower motor resistor and it allows your fan to work on different speeds. If your fan isn't blowing on low, then you probably need a new blower motor resistor. I'll put a link to a video on how to fix this at the end of this video. Right near the resistor we have an evaporator, which the air from the blower motor gets pushed through and gives you cold air in the cabin. The evaporator is like a really cold radiator and when air moves over it, the air gets cold. You should check your evaporator for debris and also give it a clean. I'm going to vacuum it out and then spray it down with the cleaner. Vacuuming really didn't get it as clean as I want it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some type of all-purpose cleaner, degreaser, whatever you wanna use. I'm using something that smells good. This smells like oranges because when you spray it in there, it's gonna make your cabin smell whatever that spray is. So you don't wanna use something that smells bad. You wanna try to use something that actually smells good. Let that soak and then we'll vacuum it out. Now although you see right there it looks dirty, make sure you look all the way in the back. You can see all that stuff back there. I'm going to try to get all that stuff out. Trying my best to get my hand back there. Here's everything that I've pulled out. Make sure you get all the way back in that corner. You can see there's even more junk in there. Okay, that feels pretty good. Just a few little sticks and twigs and stuff. But you're not going to be able to get it all out, but the more you can get out, the better. So once you're done cleaning out and vacuuming out any extra liquids and debris, you want to find something like Lysol or Febreze that'll kill bacteria and eliminate odor. This step will eliminate any musty smell that you might have from your vehicle when you turn the fan on. Just get that in there good. And now we'll put the blower motor back in. Remember to put the cooling duct back on the motor. This uses air from the cooling fan to cool the motor. Okay, that's on all the way. Now initially it doesn't matter which way this goes in, just get it in. And once you get it in place, then you could move it around and see how it fits in. What you're going to want to do is you want to line the holes first of all, but you want this tube to be down at the bottom here where it connects to that hole. It'll only align in one spot. This peg goes through right here. You can see when you get it on there, it goes right through. And that's how you align it. Very simple. After you align it, make sure it's in there good. We'll get a bolt and just hand tighten it so it holds it in place. Get one more, just hand tighten it so it holds it in place. Now you can get your eight millimeter and tighten it up. Just get them down so all four of them are tight. We'll put the bottom bolts in now. One of the bolts goes right behind this vent. And the last one screws in at the bottom right corner. Now we're gonna just connect all our wiring harnesses. The one with the red cap goes on here. It can only go on one way. Make sure it clicks. Our blower motor. Make sure that clicks. And then you just slide that in like that. All we have left is to get this back in and I just have these two bolts. One goes here and one goes here. Remember on mine, it popped out, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it forward, push it down, then pull it back and try to get it to snap into that smaller hole on the bottom. Hopefully on yours you could just unbolt it like it's designed to be unbolted.
good. You heard that pop right in. Now get your 10 millimeter and let's tighten these down. This you just want to snug up. You don't want to over tighten it. Good. Same with this, just snug it up. Good. Everything's in there nice and tight. Got all our wiring harnesses connected. Oh, make sure that we uh, connect this hose down here. Almost left this hose out. Make sure you put that back on. There's a little stub down here that has to get pushed in. So make sure you push that over. And with that pushed in, we're all done. Okay, we're gonna turn the fan on, see if it makes any noise. As you can hear, it's not making the noise anymore, so we fixed the problem. If you have that noise in your car, and it's making that clicking noise, almost like a uh, baseball card in a bicycle spoke, then you probably have some debris in there and you just need to clean it out. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. On the screen there are going to be a few how-to videos. You can click on them or find the links to those videos in the description below. Also in the description below are the links to the Chris Fix Facebook and Twitter pages. Check it out.